Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is the second video on similar shapes. This video concentrates on areas and volumes. So before we get started on uh, finding areas and volumes using similar shapes, just a little bit of background. So lengths uh, represent one dimension. Areas represent two dimensions, so it's spread across a length and a width. And volume represents three dimensions, so it's length, width, and depth that we'll be looking at. So the dimensions are very, very important in this particular case. And you'll see why in a bit. So what we're going to do is in this particular video, there's only some examples which I'm going to go through. There's no questions for you to do as such, but I might have another video with some exam questions in it later on. Okay, let's get started. So the first question we're going to look at is, yeah, the two squares A and B are mathematically similar. So the two squ squares are similar. One is the enlargement of the other. The lengths in B are twice the lengths in A. So that basically is giving us our scale factor when it's telling us that. So our scale factor is going to be 2. It's a bit thick this. I'm going to make it thinner. Okay. So the area of B is 40 centimeters squared. Okay. The scale factor which we have right now is the scale factor of the length now that's your 1d scale factor right your one dimensional scale factor area is two dimensional so to find this the scale factor of the area we're going to square the scale factor of the length since it's two dimensions that gives you your 2D uh, scale factor. Right, and our scale factor length is 2. So 2 squared is 4. So the area of B is going to be 4 times larger than the area of A. But A, A is the smaller shape, so to find the area of A, we're going to divide by the scale factor. So it's going to be 40 divided by 4 which is 10 centimeter squared okay so just quickly to summarize the question gave us a length scale factor we took the length scale factor which is one dimensional to find the area scale factor which is two dimensional so we square it because it's 2d so the scale factor of area was 2 squared, which is 4. We had the area of the larger shape. So to find the area of the smaller one, we had to divide the area of the larger one by the area by the scale factor of the area, which is 40 divided by 4, which gave us 10 centimeters squared. Now we're going to have a look at the next question. Right, it has, there's no diagrams here, it's just a question. The two squares, x and y, are mathematically similar. The areas of x and y are 16 centimeters squared and 64 centimeters squared, respectively. I'm going to stop there. So I've got the two areas. So I'm going to find the scale factor area. To do that, I'm going to divide the larger one by the smaller one. Sorry, the other way around. 64 divided by 16 which gives me a scale factor area of 4 remember this is my 2d scale factor yeah okay the length of x so since the va the area of y is greater y is the bigger shape yeah so x is smaller And y is bigger, just to bear in mind. Just going to write it down. Okay, the length of x is 4 centimeters. 
So once I've got the scale factor area, I'm supposed to find the length of y. So I'm going to find the scale factor length. To do that, I'm going to do the opposite of squaring. So I'm going from a 2D area to a, sorry 2D scale factor to a 1D. So that's the square root of scale factor area, which is square root of 4, which is 2. And that's your 1D scale factor, your length scale factor. Okay, x is the smaller side, so to find the length of y, I multiply by the scale factor length. So 4 times 2, which is 8 centimeters. Okay, we'll have a look at the next question. Right, it says two cubes A and B are mathematically similar. The height of B is triple the corresponding height of A. So it's giving me a scale factor length, and that is 3. The surface area of A is 96 centimeters squared. Find the surface area of B. So I need to find the scale factor area. That's again a 2D scale factor. So scale factor length squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, so I have the area of this. The smaller one is 96 so surface area of B will be 96 times 9 and that is 864 centimeters squared Okay, and now one more question, which is on the volume of two cylinders. So two cylinders A and B are mathematically similar. The height of B is twice the corresponding height of A. So I have a scale factor length of two. Um, so to find the scale factor volume, that's three dimensions, so I'm going to do scale factor length, and I'm going to cube it. That gives me a 3D scale factor, yeah? So that's going to be 2 cubed. That's 8. So you, I have the volume of the smaller one, 15 centimeter cubed. So if I have the volume of the smaller one, to find the volume of the larger one, I would have to multiply by the scale factor volume. So volume of A, sorry, B, is equal to 8, which is your scale factor, times 15 which is 120 centimeter cubed and that's how I would find the volume of this particular shape. I will try and although this particular video uh, the examples are quite basic I would say I will try and uh, make a video on some harder exam questions on this topic and I would like to mention one thing uh, before um, ending this video is uh, if I was given a scale factor volume let's say the scale factor volume was um, 27 and I wanted to go to the scale factor area I can't go directly from scale factor volume to scale factor area. What I have to do is I have to go from scale factor volume 
to scale factor length. So to find the scale factor length, I have to cube root the scale factor volume. So this would be cube root of 27, which is 3. So once I have the scale factor length, I can then find the scale factor area by squaring scale factor length. So 3 squared, which is 9. Also, suppose I have the scale factor area, say 4, and I want the scale factor volume, I can't go directly from scale factor area to scale factor volume, so I have to first find the scale factor length, which is square root of scale factor area. So square root of 4, which is 2, that's your scale factor length. And then define the scale factor volume. I just cube my scale factor length, which is 2 cubed. And that would be 8 in this case. So we'll be using this, hopefully, in the next video. Um, on this topic which hopefully is a bunch of exam questions thank you for watching hope this helps